Over on the tube on my video all about how many different types of flushing systems Toto has, user Harper Welch 5147 says, Toto toilet in my apartment is a pain in the, well, you know. It collects material all around the toilet in a little ledge up underneath the lip that surrounds the bowl. I've never noticed this in other toilets. It's difficult to clean and gums up quickly. Well, Harper, that's not exactly a question, but we're going to pretend you asked and we're going to get into it right now. Welcome back, Remodelites, to another episode of Potty Talk. I'm Dave with Remodel Media, and since 2005, I've been helping you put together kitchens, baths, outdoor kitchens, and various other home renovation projects. I'm on a mission to eliminate remodel regret, and I do that by bringing you the latest tips, tricks, and products for your home remodel. So if you're new here, follow along. We'll have some fun. Well, Harper, my friend, your vivid description of toilet troubles is as refreshing as a breath mint in a garlic factory. <laughs> I'm, I mean, who doesn't love a toilet that doubles as a collector's edition of stuff that shouldn't be here? Uh, what you're describing is a very common problem, assuming the cause is not a dietary one, in which case you should hit up Dr. Mike for his opinion. <laughs> uh, th this concern, as far as I've found, has only two possible mechanical causes. The first cause is possibly a design flaw in the Emacs or GMAX series flushing systems, both of these flushing systems utilize a siphon jet at the bottom of the toilet to create a pull or a siphoning effect, and rim jets create a push to get the waste to go down the drain. However, the rim jets do not adequately clean the bowl. All they do is push things down. Don't get me wrong, for their time, they were innovative. However, we have newer options that are better. This is something that they addressed in the newer flushing systems like the Tornado Flush. This utilizes rim jets that actually circle the bowl, giving you a much cleaner flush. Of course, being that it's an apartment, you would rely on your landlord to replace it. And if they do what most landlords do, they'll buy whatever's the cheapest they can get away with putting in. Uh, the other possible cause for this is misuse of the Cephiontech glaze. Back in the day, this was referred to as Santa Gloss. This is the non-staining antimicrobial porcelain glaze that protects your bowl. According to Toto's own cleaning instructions, Cephiontech glaze is Toto's patented super smooth permanent glazing that prevents objects and debris from sticking to the surfaces of their toilets and lavatories. These toilets and lavatories are made of ceramic, a porous material that allows mold and other particulate to stick to the surface, creating stains, scaling, and buildup. Cephion Tech Glaze, along with regular cleaning, will keep your Toto products in pristine condition. Now, here's where people screw up under the do's and don'ts for regular cleaning of your Toto product with Cephion Tech. Do use a mild dish detergent to clean your lavatory, use a gel-based toilet cleaner, and use a soft cloth to clean your lavatory. Use a soft bristle plastic brush to clean your toilet. Don't use cleanser, polishing, powders, or detergents that have gritty or coarse particles. Side note, to you, what this means is don't use things like Comet, Mr. Clean Magic Erasers, which are basically very fine sandpaper. Uh, these things will take the glaze off. Don't use bleach, chemical thinners, or products that include acid or alkaline detergents in their ingredients. Don't use metal scrub brushes or steel wool. TLDR, soap and water is all that you'll need. Anything else is going to strip the Cephion Tech right off. And once you do that, there's nothing really you can do besides replace the toilet. Moral of the story, read the manual. It's usually in the manual. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some good information out of that episode. Go ahead and click here for more videos. Go ahead and click here to subscribe. And make sure you check out the description below for relevant links to some of the products that we discussed today. And leave your comments and questions down below because I love answering them. As always, I'll see you in the next one.